hi guys and welcome to my channel again this is the activity sheet from a lesson two so if you have a printer at home please go direct to white trolls maths hub website and you can download these activity sheets from there for absolutely free um, so download the, the worksheets you can print them and then you can get your child to work through them if you do not have a printer please do not worry as you can just get your child to copy these questions in their books and work through them so this is your page one of activity uh, sheet and there you have page two of lesson two activity now i'm going to quickly go through the lesson and let's see what the lesson is about today. Five sentences for every complaint, and we're going to use a picture to help us fill these out. Look at the first one. There are some bears altogether. We can see from the picture there are clearly five bears altogether. There are yellow bears. How many yellow bears? Well, we can see that there are three yellow bears. We can also see that there are two purple bears. So, three out of the five bears are yellow. And two out of the five bears are purple. Let's have a look at the next one. There are pieces of fruit all together. We can see all together there are 12 pieces of fruit. And there are five pears. There are also seven apples. Seven out of the 12 pieces of fruit are, that's right, apples. And five out of the pieces of fruit are pears. Have a go at the questions one and two. Let's have a look at our next picture. We can see we've got 12 pieces of fruit, but instead of representing it just a piece of fruit, we might think about how this might relate to a bar model. We've divided our bar model into 12 equal pieces. The question reads, what fraction of the fruit are apples? Well, we can see we've got 12 equal parts all together, and we're interested to know what fraction of the fruit are apples. Well, out of our 12 equal parts, seven of them are apples. What fraction of the fruit are pears? Well, again, we can see we still have 12 equal parts, but we're interested in what fraction of those are pears. Well, out of the 12 pieces of fruit, five of them are pears. So the fraction would be five twelfths. So, for every seven apples, there are five pears. And we can say the ratio of apples to pears is seven to five. Or, we could say the ratio of pears to apples is five to seven. What about our next representation? In this case, we're representing a bar model. Wonder how many parts we can see. Well, the first one is what fraction of the bar is shaded? Well, out of our seven parts, three are shaded. Three sevenths is shaded. What fraction of the bar is not shaded? Again, we can see this time that four out of the seven parts are not shaded. So, for every parts that are shaded, some parts are not shaded. So, for every three shaded parts, four are not shaded. The ratio of shaded parts to non-shaded parts is three to four. Have a go at the rest of the worksheet. We're going to start thinking about how ratio and fraction fit together now. Okay, so I hope you uh, found this video helpful. Please uh, do you have a go at um, uh, attempting these questions and let me know how you're getting on. If there's anything else that I can help you with or um, anything else that you would like me to cover, I would be more than happy to help. Please, please, please stay at home, stay healthy, stay safe and keep learning. Thank you for watching. Bye.